The University of Otago is New Zealand's first university, founded in 1869, so we turn 150 years old this year. We're located in Dunedin in the South Island of New Zealand, a city of about 130,000 people. We've grown over our 150 years to be a university of about 20,000 students across comprehensive disciplines of health, sciences, humanities and business. Our research theme brings together a wide group of collaborators from physiologists, pharmacologists, pathologists, clinician scientists and our clinical colleagues. We have a wide range of research focus at the basic science or translational level. At present we have two key areas of research. The first area is looking at a model of chronic interstitial fibrosis that is induced by lithium. So we're interested in the effect lithium has on the kidney. So lithium is used to treat people with mood disorders, but it also has an adverse effect that it affects kidney function. So what we're doing is a lot of molecular techniques to try to understand the pathways of which lithium affects the proliferation of the cells in order to try to prevent an adverse effect called fibrosis, which is a type of scarring in the kidney. The other area in the lab that we're interested in is in hypertension. And we have a unique transgenic REN2 hypertensive rat model that allows us to accurately control hypertension. So my research utilises a unique hypertensive rat model to look at the effect of high blood pressure on the development of renal injury. In addition to that, we explore the cardiorenal syndrome by adding the additional aspect of a myocardial infarction and looking at the development of renal disease. At a human physiology level, we're particularly interested in high intensity exercise in extreme environments and how the physiology of the human changes in those environments. So we're interested in exercise as an antihypertensive therapy and uh, of course that assists in preventing chronic kidney disease. And we have a climate chamber just here um, and that's really good for, for example, making it chronically cold and that increases um, blood pressure and that's potentially a bad thing from being chronically hypertensive. We can make it hot and, and therefore exercise in it um, and that's potentially good as an antihypertensive therapy. So they're, they're good facilities for doing exercise in or trying to replace some of the effects of exercise. There's been the recent initiatives looking at patient-related outcomes, and the Song Initiative has identified that cramp is a particular problem for patients on dialysis. So muscle cramp is a significant burden in those who are treated with dialysis. So we're using electrical stimulation as a model to study cramp as it happens infrequently, and we are looking at trying to understand why dialysis patients are more susceptible to cramp. At a wider level, our group is actively involved in many clinical studies, particularly with systematic reviews and meta-analyses, which allows us to combine the data from all these trials for clinical management. Our research in meta-analysis is really trying to find the best evidence for people making decisions about treatment in kidney disease. So we have brought together hundreds of trials, trying to understand whether treatments work or don't work. The way that we're able to achieve these trials is working together with the Australasian Kidney Trials Network and we're trying to answer the really big questions that we know are missing from the current evidence base. So as you can see as a group we might be relatively small compared to some large units overseas but I believe with our collaboration and close proximity we actually can provide very top quality research as a consequence. The fact that the Dunedin campus for the University of Otago is small uh, is a real advantage. That ability to connect point to point, department to department, person to person within 10 minutes means that there's a, a huge amount of collaborative research undertaken. We have a wide array of facilities available and the addition of working within a small team is the bonus of being able to match preclinical research to clinical research and make the most effective translation between the two. You have so many little, little cross disciplines that you can just, you know, knock up to someone's door and just talk to them about your research, share your experience. But kidney research itself, being such a small, specialised field, I think University of Otago is doing fantastically well. I'm happy to be here. Yeah.